everyone, welcome back. Today I took the kayak out um, for some more stripers. A lot of fish were being marked, a fish finder. Uh, looks like they're on a school of bunkers. So I took out the treble hook and snagged a few bunkers. Uh, trying to see if there's any big stripe bass around. The concept is pretty simple, snap the bunkers, put it back on a circle, some will just leave it on a treble hook and let the bunkers swim around, but if you put it back on a circle hook, on a different rod, you're able to add a sinker and send the bunker back to the bottom of the school, so most stripers will pick an easy meal, they were lurking around underneath the school of bunkers, that's where you want to put your bunker jet to lifeline them. And if you watch till the end, you'll find something very interesting. That even though there are fish around, they're not taking any bite. It doesn't matter what you throw at them. That could do to the sun, they could do it because of the tide, or they're just not feeding at that time. So, there's no guarantee that you're able to catch a fish even though see them right underneath because they're just not feeding. I put the hook through the nose of the bunkers and out of the eye. Uh, this is the most effective way so far uh, to fly flying a bunker. You can also put it from the bottom of the chin up to the snows of the bunker. That also works. Uh, but I feel like that way the bunker doesn't swim as lively. But some days that's just how they want the bunker to go. I uh, usually snack at least two to three or and keep them in my life bucket. So in case I pass through the school bunkers, I don't have to try to kayak back spot and snack another one. I already have the bunker for me to go for the entire day. And you can see on my fish finder, they're marking a fish right near the school of bunkers. Soon, you'll hear the drag screaming off a bunker rod. There we go. I know it looks very messy in here. I'm trying to 
put down the bunker I just snag trying to engage the drag on the spot that had a fish on at the same time because there's a treble hook swinging with the bunkers on I don't want to myself so I'm maintaining pressure of the other rod and trying to put down the one with the treble on it's pretty chaotic in this here This is a very nice fish, but unfortunately, um, even though I used a circle hook, she swallowed the whole thing inside. The hook did not end up at the corner of the mouth. Um, I was not able to save the fish, so um, I ended up getting it. The hook that I was using is the Gamagatsu AR circle hook. Um, this is actually the first time that I have a circle hook being got hooked in a big fish. 95% of the time the hook end up in the corner of the mouth. Um, and this time it's just so deep. When I look inside, I can't even see the end of the hook. save this fish it's all the way down deep and can't even see the hook so it's pulling it's gonna die oh, poor fish this is a very nice one too let's make sure this bad boy Alright, another half an hour is gone. There is no more bite on my bunker's rod. Um, I'm mocking fish in the middle of the column. Uh, so I decided to throw some plastic again. Um, do some jigging to see if they're biting, but they're not taking anything. The sun is high up into the sky. The bite is completely shut down. Wind is picking up. So make it so much more difficult to kayak. Um, I'm tired, so I'm going to call it a day after another half an hour or so. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like. If you have any question, feel free to comment. Tight line and leave salty.